Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Phoenix and welcome back to Agrarian Skies where I have just built iron ore gravel. God, this has taken forever. Um, so, I'm just going to go to the right one, which is learning to sky block, dust in the wind. So I've got iron ore gravel now, that's made with bro full broken ore, and uh, then you get, yeah, iron ore gravel. You then beat the... Um, the gravel with the hammer and make sand and then you pulverize then you do this exactly the same thing with that and you get dust which you can then I can then claim a reward let's go for the middle bag see what we get All right oh joy seeds Useful, but not particularly useful because I've got to store it somewhere. And storage is a little bit scarce at the moment. That's a new barrel. So, um, let's stick that there and there. Alright, let's like that. What I can do now with this iron is smelt it up. So that's one quest done only another million to go. I think for this episode I want to work on I'm smelting, I'm smelting, though that's going to be very slow. Um, actually no, what I want to do this episode is this one. That one there, Storage Wars. Because I have the better barrel and I've also added to some of them Structural Mark 1s which give it the, gives them uh, upgrade slots. If I can get the storage upgrade, which is yeah, there we go, uh, that one. So I've got the wood, I've got the cobble, and I've got the iron now. I had iron before because the zombies were dropping it out of the spawner. If I can get two redstone, then we're good, I think. Problem is, my spawner is, well, pretty much, I'm having to maintain it a lot, and I would quite like to automate it soon. The uh, problem is, I don't really know how to automate it, because there's nothing really, I don't think, that I can make. Hmm. There are some spikes, actually. I don't know if it's in this build. That might be worth having a look at. I just need to clear some of this backlog. Uh, let's have a look. So, uh, we're a monster, but I don't know. Hello, Invar Spike. Which needs lots and lots of invar. I'm nowhere near being able to make that yet. So I think the next big thing that I'm going to do is um, Tinker's Construct Furnace. Going to take a while to do it, as I said, but uh, it will benefit me an awful lot. And the other thing that I want to see if I can get is the redstone. Um, so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing this episode, so I will see you in a sec when I've actually got the uh, the materials. I don't think there's anything... Oh, I've died four times now. So every time I die now, I'm going to stick a head on, on my fence, my fence of deaths. I've currently got um, two lives, and actually I can think I can actually tell you how I died. Uh, there you go. Uh, so once to starvation and three times to creepers um, yeah until I realized that actually you could hit the um, the mobs and sort of collect it from here I was actually sort of opening the door and wandering in and getting myself blown up by sudden creepers so yeah but yeah it's good um also want to get some lead but I'm sure I'll get come across that so that I can start work on getting this uh, getting a proper storage system up and running because this system isn't that great to be honest and I've got a music desk that's good they're quite good sources of um, stuff oh the other thing that I made, uh, I made was a wand which I've now filled completely because that was an issue that I had with my own uh, world that I was playing on before this was that I was having real trouble getting um, getting the, the the aspects needed for crafting, 
and actually this um, once I've got a good supply of iron I can make a few wands and then whenever I come over here I can um, get the various materials uh, cornered me right so yes I will see you in a second okay so I am starting to do a little expansion the idea for this is to build an area where my villagers that I got in those eggs uh, where are they? There they are. Um, can congregate and then I can go in there and I can um, buy things basically from them uh, so this is my going to be my village waited till day to do this because well it's day-ish it's, it's overcast but it's day-ish day enough so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into about there so my wall is going to run down like, down like that no it isn't so I want to leave a space next to between the, the it's basically I just need to leave a space uh, and thankfully I've got loads of wood the reason why I'm doing this now is because one I'd quite like to get the uh, villagers going um, and the second thing is that I am waiting for absolutely forever for uh, things to happen and um, I'm slowly putting together pistons in here but it's uh, taking a little bit of time and every so often I need to just knit back to this just to get rid of the um, uh, to get rid of the pressure that builds up in here otherwise the zombies start banging on the door and it doesn't it won't end well uh, right. and I will also just make something of that coal it should be alright for food for the minute Okay, so I'm not going to build this too huge yet. My villagers can always um, move into larger accommodation later on. Um, but for now, this is just a place for them to socialise. And I think they'll enjoy it in, in here. Oh, I don't like running along these these edges one bit. I'll put some uh, fences along next to that. Uh, let's do that as well. Right. So in here. Now obviously if I put in a wooden door, they're all going to escape. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to have sort of portholes, I guess. So that they can, um, they'll, be a, they'll have a door in here so that they can interact with it. Uh, I'll just build a couple for the moment so they can play with these doors in here. They really do like, like uh, those doors, so just a couple of doors there. They'll like that, I think. And then just close it off like that. I've actually got less wood than I thought I had, so. Quickly knock this together. Yeah, so that gives me space to get out. light will stop the um, bad things from getting in and that looks good okay so we've got yeah that looks about right and I'll just 
put in a couple of villages to start with. I don't want to waste them all. Do they have anything good? Ooh, wool for emerald, that's not bad. Because later on when we've got and iron for emerald, well that's not too bad in the whole. Um, I'll need to do some work on this platform just to uh, get it right, but yeah, I think that'll be alright. So yeah, we're we're <laughs> we're basically waiting on dirt to be ready. I need six more dirt. And the only way I, I'm actually able to get five more dirt um, to get the dirt is by murdering these zombies, taking their flesh, and then uh, and the eye, the spider eyes, and um, making dirt out of that. Pretty much at the moment. So yeah, I'll be back in a, in a second, then uh, I should have the the pistons ready by then. And, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, oh. I'm kind of torn at this point as well. So, I'm just working on the pistons for the moment because it needs to be done. It's a fairly easy quest to, just to complete. But I don't know whether or not I want to build the Tinker's Construct on the basis that it'll uh, make stuff easier to get or an Ignis Extruder on the basis that it will make stuff easier to get. So the Ignis Extruder I can then make just an infinite amount of cobble. I don't have to wait for composting to get me dirt and then put it through those measures. So I'm thinking possibly actually make, to make the Ignis Extruder first. I guess it will all kind of depend on what I get out from I'll need to um, sift some stuff anyway for some other things. So um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So for now, I will. Uh, yeah, I'll just you know see you in a sec. Okay, I've done it. I've made the storage upgrade. That's it. And what it does is, let's put it into probably that one's going to be the one that I or the. Um, Let's go for the gunpowder. So you shift right click it in, and then you can put in uh, more items. So by by, by sort of stand, standard is you know standard barrel size is 64 by 64, but it actually takes it up to 128 by 64. So you know it's uh, it's pretty good. Um, so I can now hand that in. Let's get that. Three lives again, and I've got a full heart. Nice, I've got full. Oh, it was a rotten heart. Oh, great. So now I'm back down to two. Ah, that's a little annoying. Thanks, Jaded. Oh uh, well. So the next thing on my list on for this one for the hoarding is um, ME drives and the like, which is something that I'm not going to really be able to do for a while. Um, I've got nothing unlocked. I'd like um, your wizard Steve to uh, get unlocked, but I suspect I need to do something down here first. Um, oh well. Right, well, um, I guess now we get to work in building some bits and pieces. So I'll probably do this off camera, I'll probably say farewell for now. Um, but the two things I'm going to be working on off camera are the Tinker's Construct Furnace and a way of making an awful lot of cobble with the minimum amount of effort. So, yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.